part two. Um, sorry. Um, hey, fellas and ladies, Survival XN. Today we're going to talk uh, a little update version of the Mem Knife. Uh, this is one of the knives that I actually enjoyed having, uh, but I kind of, when I was using it, I kind of pushed it towards the limits. And I'm going to tell you what happened. I think I had it for, I don't know, six months or so. I can't keep up in the months. I did a few things different. If you remember my first video, just pretty much a white, I think it's like birch wood or something like that, some light wood. I just pretty much got a flame to it and darkened it a little bit. Um, now, one thing, the blade still is good. And it still locks good. And it still got a good edge and it keeps a good edge. Now, the only thing I have a problem with it is this locking mechanism right here. Um, I was using, and you know, I know I'm going to have credits and all that, but uh, I was actually using this to cut zip ties off. I do that all, with all my other knives. And the problem I had with this one is, let's see if I can show you. See how it bends like that when it's not supposed to. But what it did is, let's see if I show you. Right here, when my thumbs are inside, I don't know if I can show you or not. Um, right there inside, it actually created a cavity. So what that did was, when I'm using it and it bends like that, this metal piece actually goes over that side and goes into the cavity. So it no longer locks like it's supposed to. Um, this is, I think, a ten, twelve dollar knife. Once again, it's nothing wrong with this knife um, if you're gonna use it like you're supposed to. Uh, I, I kind of like overdo a lot of my stuff just because it's a tool, designed to use a tool. But it's not really this. You ain't never supposed to cut zip ties with a knife, hands down. Um, but I did it, and that's what will happen. You mess up your blade, mess up your knife. Uh, but um, but still, if you're going to get it for, like, cutting, you know, twigs or, you know, even cardboard, tape or cardboard or something like that, I use that all the time with this. No issue once one of once. No issue at all. Let's go with that one. So, um, yeah, same thing. It's made in, the said, Portugal, uh, 1870s it's made. Uh, the company started, shall I say. Um, but if you're using the woods, you're not going to deal with zip ties in the woods. It cut in, kind of string, anything. You ain't going to have no issues at all. But zip ties or plastic in general does take a big temporal um, part for your, your knife. Uh, so it did, like I said, it no longer locked like it's supposed to. Um, but um, other than that, man, it's still a great knife. It's still a good price to get them at. Um, other than that, that should be on this one. <laughs>